Hello everyone, Lars here. Welcome back to a new game or some more gaming. And um, yeah, we are going to play Black Desert Online. Um, if you haven't heard of it, it's yeah, it's a MMO, but it's it's sort of an MMO RPG, but the the RPG part is really, really, really special. It's really cool, but let's not talk about that. You're going to see that soon. Um, yeah, let's see. I like always thin because Croxus is doesn't sound good. I always play on Serendia A2 or because I played like I don't know 10 15 hours uh, off screen. Um, I made Testosia because that's a test character. So let's make a new one. Yes, let's do that. And yeah, you have some different classes. You see, the warrior is like a <laughs> melee guy. Yep, you have a tamer that's... I don't know if she gets a bonus to taming stuff. Any ranger support of feeling the divine beast? Uh, okay, so she's sort of a summoner. Ranger, that's a bow girl. That's <laughs> self-explanatory. She shoots arrows. Uh, you have the berserker, which is... Yeah, double huge axes. And I saw a couple of those in game and they just look stupid. Yeah, look at this guy. He's not cool at all. Um, yeah, he's just, well, control. Okay, so he's just mad. Yeah, I look at that preview thing. Uh, Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie is from the North, uh, Norse myth mythology. They were the ones that flew down and uh, picked up the Vikings that was killed in combat. They are awesome. Uh, sword, shield and divine magic. Valkyrie's melee actions are smooth and have elegance. Okay, so she has more control. Healing. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you can make parties and guilds and stuff. So this is just a sort of a support thingy. And you can't select the gender as far as I know. You can't be a girl when you're a warrior. Uh, let's see, attack evasion, don't wear prudence in battle, return of casting time, uh, perform large scale magic attacks. Thorough move will burn, freeze and shatter the enemies. Yeah, so he's a ranged magic dude. And you got the witch, which is, <laughs> yeah, the witch, which is uh, prudence in battle, casting time, large scale magic. Wait, what? So... Wizard and Witch are the same, kind of. Okay then, yeah, I didn't know that. I haven't checked out this, I just selected Sorceress, kind of random. And I'm going to be Sorceress again, because she's awesome. She, She's sort of melee, she's hit and run. She's really, really cool to play with. And yeah, look at the preview. She's ranged a lot, and there you see the melee things. And I think the melee things, they... they uh, replenish mana. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that, but we're going with this. Let's go to creation. Uh, yeah, you can customize a lot. You can open a folder actually, and uh, you can save your thingy. Yeah, save file, temporary file. Uh, oh yeah, and family name. Family name is uh, universal for all the characters you create in the game. So you have to buy it again, I guess. Make a different account if you want to have another family name. And I decided to go with Glenda because she's awesome. She's sort of a quiet girl. So yeah, uh, you have horoscopes, which I don't know. I don't know what they do. Perseverance, patience, gentle, talented. Oh, gentle is pretty good. Uh, the dragon, wealth, fame, noble, delicate, sensitive, sociable. That also sounds like Glenda, I guess. Owl, simple, genuine, knowledgeable, genius or idiot. Okay, idiot would fit more for Lars, I guess. Elephant, yeah, obtuse, trusted, charioteer. I have no idea if this affects the uh, gameplay at all. Eccentric, secretive, short-lived. That might also fit on Lars, but short-lived. Yeah, let's say Lars is old. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to go, yeah, key. That's such a weird horoscope thing. Or what is it? Um, the, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, hammer. It can be a boat. <laughs> you can have a boat as a horoscope. That's just weird. Yeah, but I think Black Dragon fits very good. Well, fame, that's okay-ish, I guess. She's not... Glenda's not into fame, but she's noble, delicate, and sensitive. So, delicate and sensitive is very good. Um, let's see, weather. This, this is just to look at your character in different... Oh, wow, that was horrible. Oh my god, my eyes are burning. <laughs> we don't want that. Let's see, we can take this one. Yep, and as you can see, the characters looking at you. And their eyes. Look at their eyes. They are totally dead. So, dead eyes. That's nasty. Let's see, let's scroll out a little bit. Character action. Oh yeah, you can select a pose. Yeah, I like that. Oh, uh, yeah, she's really girly. <laughs> That's so stupid. And uh, wait, what? She's sitting? Yeah, she's sitting and smiling, okay. But well, whatever, let's. It doesn't matter, that's just stupid. I'm not going to look at that a lot. Uh, voice, I don't care about that. Hair shape. Yeah, let's go with the body. And yeah, you can. You click on it and drag it. And she's pregnant, I guess. That's a little bit weird. Uh, let's see, shape, muscle. Pose, edit pose, wait, what? What, wait, what? That's, no! That's just, wait. She's not straight anymore. Okay, now she's, yeah, there we go, she's straightened out. Uh, oh, reset all, wait, what? Okay, then, yeah, I haven't derped around with this. I just looked for like a couple of minutes. Uh, okay, tattoos. Oh wow, that's really cool. Except it's a skull and a skull is not really that cool. Stars is coolish. Um, density. Okay. I don't know if we're going to have a tattoo. Okay, that tattoo is actually quite nice. Yeah, yeah, look at the boobs, they dingle a little bit. Yeah, well, um, rotate. Wait, what? Oh, you can just adjust the density thing. Okay, and inverted. That really doesn't do anything. Color, oh, that was horrible. Wait, what? So she just got a black tattoo. No, not invert. Density. Is this just uh Oh, this is a thing, uh, an overlay, I guess. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Muscle. What, what muscles? Can we, no, we can click and drag, we just have to, okay, she's going to be petite, she doesn't have, but can we click on stuff, okay, height, no, wait, what, okay, then, and this really doesn't matter. Okay then. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, she's going to be a little bit short, I guess. Uh, yep. Yep, yeah, you can take them. Wow, this is... This is really awkward. Okay then. Well, that was just weird. 
Yeah, let's go with this. This is fine. Uh, action customizing. Oh yeah, with the body. Okay, let's take hair shape then. Color. Okay, what color did she have? She had a bluish color. We don't want any shine. Okay, let's go like that. I don't know if I want bluish color. Yeah, I certainly don't want that. Here ends. What what? Okay then. Area. Okay then. So if we go with like this. Um like this maybe shine we don't want a lot of shine okay shape okay with what okay this is awkward length yeah i don't know uh yeah, this is good enough. We're going to take it a little bit random. Face. Yeah, that face was okay. Is that Glenda? I do not know. Wait, what? No. Uh, I don't know if that's Glenda ish. Shine. Uh, no. Okay, then I don't know. Face shape. Uh, stand my. Oh, she can have a face tattoo. Okay, that just looks weird. And that was a little bit cool, but I don't want to. Uh, okay, then. What location? Like this, maybe. Right, screw that, we're not going to take a tattoo. Okay, this is good enough. It does not really matter. Yeah, she has a tattoo here anyway. Okay, this took like almost 15, <laughs> 15 minutes. I have naming policy too, so you can do that. We can save that crap. We're not going to we're not going to save that crap. Yep, creation complete. With what? No. How can we not do that? So you, I think it was like you had a unique family name and you could have a, like whatever other name. Okay, may, maybe Sarah then. Okay, I think you can have a space between naming policy. Yeah, underscores. One length, first lesson must be an upgrade. Yeah. So we can't have space. Glenda G. Okay. So we have to have an underscore. Yeah, this is not cool. Uh, 
Uh. Oh, come on. Glenda won then. Yeah, man, that's oh, that's so stupid. I don't want her to be called Glenda One. Oh, that's just oh, come on, game. Uh, yeah, vibration effects. I don't want a lot of that. Yeah, the dizziness or eye fatigue. Yeah, I'm going to take that on like like this, something like that. Imaging effect. Intensifies the effect of character skills and movements. Yeah, we're going to have that a little bit lower too. Uh, guiding fair. When you take quest, you can take like uh, give me some directions, and you can have arrows, effects, and guiding fairy. And guiding fairy is nice. So why the heck do I have to? Fix the graphics. Now, do I already fix the graphics in the settings? Okay, that's weird. Wait, what did I just enter the game as Testosia? Come on. Don't say that happened. But please don't be. No, I don't want to activate full screen mode. Okay, that was a little bit loud, the sound. Yeah, I haven't watched the cutscenes, the intro, so I skipped those. So, oh man, wow, that's really loud. Oh my god, that's so loud. I have to split that stuff. Why is the graphics so crappy? Yeah, I have a good enough computer to not have crappy graphics. Yes, yes. What's that crap? It is the mythical stone of the ancient civilization, but the dark power it possesses has been hidden by that very civilization. At last, the illusion was uncovered. A mysterious black smoke rose up over the ridge. It seemed to know exactly where it was headed. To Goma Naru. The illusion's tone reverberated. People started to disappear all across Goma Naru. In the end, there was no one left, and that day was soon forgotten. That was so loud. That was incredibly loud. But the graphics are better now. It seems, maybe. It still looks a little bit crappy. But yeah, my computer is more than fine or good enough to have this on max. I already tested that. So, yeah. At least the sound isn't high as hell now. Yeah, that was just insane. And here we are, we got thrown into a corner and yeah, we're a little bit weak, we don't know what's going on. This is just crazy and my hair color just changed, if I didn't see wrong. Okay then. Um, can't we go? Okay, we have to walk like this because we're weak. Uh, start moving around, W to move forward, yeah, 
Okay, you and I are like one. Yeah, this this dude is going to follow us throughout the game. Yeah, <laughs> humans always ask others to do bothersome chores. Uh, that's actually quite true. True. Yep. Now it's not a good time to space out. That's fine. All right. Yes, I am. Get yourself together. Uh, not because of you. Accept. Yep. Yeah, we can press the control key to do it like that, and you can press. Then click the red button on the receiver. Yeah, whatever. Menu to activate navigation for that quest destination. Wait, what? Yeah, I know about that. The destination will be highlighted by a huge pillar of light. That you yep. Will be able to see you watch that destination. pillar. That's where we're going. Um. If you click the yellow button. Yeah, and there's video tutorials, and the video tutorials are pretty nice. I see settings. You can alternate between auto run and self screen to move to the destination at your very location. high medium texture. Yeah, I'm going to fix this a little bit uh, off screen, I guess, when I finish. For your navigation. Yeah, I guess so. Whatever. And you can see the uh, FPS here. The and that's the nice. Way. And you can actually move around while you, <laughs> while you have this scrap open. And press control again to... Yeah, I know that. You guys probably don't need to see that. Tiki. Oh yeah, you have um, auto walking. So when you select, uh, because you have to run everywhere. There's no teleport here. And what? Why can't I take up the world map? Okay, that's just weird. Uh, but you can press the T button and they will just run to the place you marked. And that is nice and it was really weird that we couldn't take up the world map. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Wait, what? We are playing with Sarah, right? Yeah, we are. So the contribution points is like universal. Uh, okay, they're universal then. But I can't get the world map up. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, and you have these things, energy. And you use energy to talk to people and stuff. Yep, let's talk to her then. Yeah, completed. Suddenly pooped out from there. <laughs> okay then. Yep, we got some experience and five HP potions. Yeah, title, the sorceress. Yep. At what? Oh, quest title. Chiara Coop. Uh, we recommend you get some rest. Yep. I can tell you're not in the best condition. Try this potion. But what? Okay, can we actually... Yeah, and I have simplified UI. Uh, let's take that off. Hide UI when attacked. Simplify UI. Why can't we do that? Ah, oh, screw that thing. Yep. HP Potion Beginner. Yep, like that. Objective completed. Uh, R to the one who gave you the recovery potion. That was that girl. Can we take... Yeah, here we go. And uh, okay. I already explored this crap. Okay, that's nice. Um, yeah, I think this was here. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? I thought that stuff uh, was activated when you were when you were logged out. I don't know. Okay then. Okay, and I have a house here. Manage crafting. Potatoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I thought I didn't do that. We can only make one because we only have one black powder. And this will take one hour. Yeah, and you can change these things. 
Um, inside here, I have some storage. Where were the storage? This is the storage. Yep. Uh, okay, then. Oh, the storage is uh, up here. Okay. Okay. This is my... Oh, yeah, this is lodging. Uh, you have to have this to have more workers. Because you... You get workers that do crap for you. Uh, as you can see if we press here. Yeah, uh, naive worker. This is the worker that's doing stuff. And you can level up these workers and you can sell them so you can be a slave trader. So if you have a really good worker, you can sell him for a lot of cash, I guess. Mm, we have... Yeah, this thing, the refinery, manage crafting. And yeah, we got three, so you can select how many times you want to do that. Oh, I can't get this up because I only have enough for one. So let's start work. Wait, what? Why don't I have any workers? Thought I had workers. I was pretty sure I had workers. Have I sent all of them to do stuff? Yeah, probably. Because I don't have any workers on the list. I think I have two workers. Uh, let's see. Worker list. Yeah, he's working on the potato crate and he's working on the other thing. Yeah, potato farming. Wait, what? Seven times? Oh yeah, this takes a lot of time. So I think it was like four hours or so. And before I um, logged out yesterday, I put it on nine times. So this guy is going to work for a long, long time, I guess. Okay, so that's that. Um, what was I going to check? Okay, did we get to level 2 now? Okay. And um, this is the skill things. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just uh, finish this quest before we finish. Yep. Does the potion, potion work? Yes, it does. Stable Keeper. Uh, begin your journey. Better start with the basics. Yep. Oh, 3k. So, village chief. So, okay, so meet the chief, okay, but what? Then click the red button on the received quest info menu to activate navigation for the Yeah, I know that. Yeah, if you do it like this, you can set the thing and you can press the button to auto run. But I don't want to do that. To the destination. Yeah, 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 I know. I do know that. Why don't we have any skill points? Self navigation to move to the destination at your leisure. Why do we not have any skill points? You can also set your own destination for your navigation. Yeah, I have no idea why we don't have that. And you can press tab to go into combat mode. And key to open the world map. Okay. Then right click on a set location and you'll activate the navigation for that destination. Okay, yeah, we don't have anything yet. Uh low kick is uh right kicking them down uh on the ground. The so if you do this, I think they will just get knocked down, the monsters I mean. Uh and you have this shooting thing. And we don't have anything else. Okay, yeah, you have some skills and you can do some combos and stuff, so it's really weird that I didn't have any skill points. I'm already level 3. So, yeah. But we have, I have 7 contribution points already that I haven't used, so that's nice. I need another worker. Hmm. Yeah, but I tried to explain the uh, basics here. So, let's see. Shop. 
Yeah, the silver isn't uh, isn't um, shared uh, across across the accounts. So yeah, fourth emblem. Yeah, capturing rope. We have to have the capturing rope to take horses. So yeah. Wait, what? Wagons. Yeah, those are used to carry things. Repair kit. Move to the designated stable. Talk to the stable keeper. Yeah, I have no idea how you do that. There's a lot of crap you can do in this game. It's just insane. Yeah, like you saw on the uh, saw on the map. And this is quite a big area. And if you look at this. Yeah, this is this is insane. The size of this is just crazy. And you can have boats and crap and be a pirate and stuff. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, this is insane. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, well, so that's that. I am going to finish here. I hope you had fun and I will see you next time.